leather export industry is worth around $43 billion, according to a report by Chemonomics International Incorporated for USAID. And, if properly harnessed, could develop into a $104 billion market. Chukuma Iche has worked in the industry for 25 years. Now the owner of his own leather and textile business, he knows firsthand what it takes to run a successful business in this declining sector. Nigeria produces good quality leather, even for export. However, the number one challenge we face in this industry, any manufacturer will tell you, is power. Yeah, that's number one. You, you, could, you can see uh, we are running on generators as we are speaking. Uh, so if we don't have it, we are not in business. Another problem that we face is high cost of funds. As a manufacturer, I'm not an importer, I'm not a trader. You know, it takes time for you to get the materials, for you to, to produce and supply. It takes time for you to even get your money back. And the, a bank is giving you something today, and they are asking you 30 days later, you should, you know, pay back. So, it's so expensive. The clothing and textile industry is currently worth around $1.15 billion in terms of sales and contributes a mere 0.37% to Nigeria's GDP. The country is currently heavily reliant on imports from China, which is hurting local manufacturers. The fashion industry is growing because there's a lot of creativity, you know, just as you have in the, in the, in the entertainment industry. There's a lot of creativity in that sector. But the basic fabrics that are used uh, are imported. Because what you have locally, first, in terms of costs, the competitiveness is an issue. In terms of quality, competitiveness is an issue. Most of their machineries are old, they cannot replace them. Funding is also an issue. Because here the cost of fund is so high, we are talking of between 18 to 20 percent interest rates per annum. The tenor of funds are so short. The best you can get is maybe 90 days or 180 days fund. And these are not the funds you can deploy, you know, for, for a sustainable industrial development. Why people they go to produce in China or they go produce, produce, produce in uh, Taiwan? Because they are less expensive. I don't think here it could be more expensive than to produce there. It's the only thing that uh, we are, n you are not uh, used to do it. But uh, uh, this is could be a very important point because uh, it could be economically very important for this country. The fashion industry is also able to assist other sectors. In Britain, a total of £37 billion was generated by the industry last year, 98 million of which went directly to tourism, thanks to events like the London Fashion Week. Fashion experts say that building fashion as a brand will contribute towards the revival of manufacturing industries and could also see international brands being produced locally. It's Africa's time in fashion. It's our time. The consumers are ready. All it needs now is the type of branding to make people aware that we're ready for the world. Imagine Awolowo Road with a Louis Vuitton store. Imagine Abuja with a Gucci store. Imagine in Port Harcourt with a Roberto Cavalli store. It tells you the quality of people that understand we are aware in fashion. And that is what speaks the language that people want to hear. You can make money and build a very successful business in Nigeria. The Nigerian textile industry has huge potential for job creation, and according to a report released by Sahara Reporters, it has the capacity to employ 1% of Nigeria's current labor force. It can only generate employment if the sector itself is growing. As we speak, the manufacturing sector accounts for less than 5% of the country's GDP. That is to show the relativity of performance in that sector. So it has a lot of potentials uh, to, to absorb labor. Nigeria's president, Goodluck Jonathan, recently approved the creation of numerous bailout funds aimed at helping to revive and promote Nigeria's textile and fashion sectors. This will hopefully assist fashion designers and manufacturers in developing homegrown brands. Keisha Gitari, Lagos.